Good morning. My name is Scott Redler, Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. And I'm Brittany Umar, and together we bring you Morning Call Express. So mixed markets around the world on Monday with our futures a little bit soft. After last week, the signals pointed towards a down move, which we got when we hit the 50-day on Friday. So, of course, now the question is, what's next? Right. For like two weeks, we were trying to figure out and navigate that upper range. We saw us break 1698, which was that sign to take risk off. And then we had about five sessions of going sideways. Here's that little spot of 1698. It's funny. These little things don't mean a lot to people out there, but to chart readers, this meant we couldn't hold this upper level. Then we started to consolidate within this upper range. Then you take a closer look, you will see that we closed on our dead lows right before the break. So with that said, here was that day on Wednesday, a day that we talked about perhaps testing the 50-day, and then it happened quick. So overall, this head and shoulders top pattern has now triggered to the downside, but here we are at the 50-day, a bit oversold. So I think traders who were trying to position short last week, they might be looking for some, some type of oversold bounce this week. So as we look for some kind of bounce, it might make sense to look for a red dog reversal. So show us how we could do that with the spiders. Well, you know, red dog reversal is a way to, to enter a situation where you don't know if it's going to be a bottom, but you could play a level versus a level, so at least you have a plan. So if you look here at the spiders, you will see, you know, here's the same type of pattern, the same type of, you know, head and shoulders top pattern, and this was your gap down. So what I would say here is this, 165.50 is Friday's low. We're right around there pre-market. If we could get a move lower, okay, perhaps to a, a bigger support, you know, where this trend line meets in this gap, somewhere around 164, I'm not sure if that could happen today, and then you trade back above the prior day low, then you could be long this low with a stop at today's low, and that's how you enter. And then if we try and rally back up, you know, we have a point of reference right here in Friday's high, and then you have the gap. But the longer this gap stays open, you know, I think the higher the probability or the more conviction the bears will have for lower prices. And ultimately, it feels as if we might get down to this 100-day at some point between, you know, August and, and September. And, you know, last week was another great week for those long the TBT who have embraced the 2013 rising rates theme. Yes, and it just shows you that if you're in the right theme or you have the right direction, it doesn't matter what the market does. And we've talked about rising rates all year long. If you look at the TBTs, you know, they are now north of 80. So if you want to trim and trail, be my guess. It's been a heck of a move down here since the lows. But ultimately, I do think if you keep them in the drawer, you're going to get a three handle in the 10 years. It's just a matter of whether it happens in the first quarter of 2014 or maybe by Christmas. <laughs> and gold was a standout last week as well. I know you tried to play that a few times. How does it look now? You know, at this point, I think the meat of that move, I know for me, is over. I was trying to be in it last week, and uh, it worked out pretty well. And now I'm flat gold, but it doesn't mean you have to be. Ultimately, this was your blood in the street lows, that red dog reversal. Here as you move higher, it digested. This is when we start looking at it again. It triggered above. Right now, it's at the moving average. I think there's some more room here, but it could take some time. I would say the longer it stays above, just say this 131 area, the higher the probability it continues. But for me, I'm just going to wait and see. Well, if we get a trade will bounce, traders will likely gravitate towards stocks that showed relative strength last week. Stocks like Apple, which continue to act well, especially after that icon in Cooper Mint News. Yes, and, and thank goodness for Apple over the course of the past month. Ever since earnings, it's been technically acting very well. You look at the chart here, you will see this was that earnings gap, gave you some digestion. You could have bought more when it crossed this downtrend gave you a move, and then they came out with that invite. That's when I got back involved. And then if you bought it because it crossed the 200-day, you didn't have to know Icon was getting involved. Then overall, you just saw the chart of the S&P getting hit, and Apple held in there. So if we do bounce, and this can get above 504 and a quarter, I don't think there's a, you know, I think it's a decent shot of getting well north of 520 to 540 at some point before that invitation event on September 10th. And any other names that showed relative strength last week that you'll be looking at? Yeah, I think Facebook. It's taken a little rest since earnings. It tried to, it's been green each day when the market's red. Lack of follow through though, but overall you look at this chart here, you know, trying to find support. At least you have a point of reference here in Facebook, 36-ish. You know, it bounced off that. If it can get above this little resistance here, which I think right now is uh, 37.55, that could be worth a trade. We targeted Tesla last week at the 21-day moving average. Every time it's hit this 21-day, it has held. Nice reversal trade on Thursday, inside day Friday. If we do get stronger above 144, 145, you know, maybe it gets back in motion. And then I think some of those really bean down high beta names, you know, Amazon and Google, they've, they've been out of play. I would think that's just a red dog reversal candidate. No relative strength there, but maybe a bounce. All right. Well, we'll be talking about all of this and more in the full morning call, so stay with us.